Hello YouTubers, this is Sesta Ace back again with another video game ads video. I have a lot of games to show you because I've added a lot of games since I last did one of these videos. Because it's been quite a while since I did a game ads video. In fact, it's been a while since I've done any kind of uh, video. Life happens. Now, I have a smallish box, about that big and a big box down there and they're both crammed full of games for several different systems but I have more games coming in addition I have a lot of other things that I need to show in videos my wife is begging me to show all of the books and magazines that I have been purchasing because they're kinda stockpiled back there and I have about five hundred dollars worth that I haven't shown and while I've been pulling the magazines out and reading them and putting them back in the bags, she wants me to show them so that I can put them away. And I don't blame her for that. I've also added a game console, which I need to show, and I've got another one coming, which I'm going to have to show. All right. I have this for a number of platforms. I have it for the PSP, the PlayStation 2, and I believe I have it for the Xbox, but I love pinball. And people behind this release are the best at doing virtual pinball. This is Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. I'm not talking about Crave, I'm talking about the other logo which is back here, which is uh, Farsight Studios. They're the ones behind Pinball Arcade. Now, if you haven't downloaded Pinball Arcade for Steam or for your Android device or bought any of their releases for the PlayStation 4 or anything, you need to check them out because they are really good at uh, reproducing these tables and getting the physics perfect. Now, I have downloaded Pinball Arcade for Steam and I have purchased the complete season one. That's how they package their tables by seasons. I believe season one includes 22 tables. Now the base price is $29.95 for season one, but I bought the deluxe season one package, which was $39.95 because it unlocked a number of things, including the special edition Star Trek The Next Generation table. And if you've never played that table, the way it handles multiball is really cool. Uh, I'd be hard pressed to explain it, but it is a really nice table. I think either Williams or Bally came out with that table. Anyway, Season 1 includes tables from Gottlieb, Williams, Bally, and Stern, and I'm hoping that the other seasons include tables from the other manufacturers. Like, I don't know how it's pronounced, Sacaria, the Italian manufacturer. And there was a company located in Spain that made pinball machines, and there are other companies that made pinball machines in the U.S. Capcom Pinball, Daddy East Pinball, Sega Pinball, Midway, Chicago Coin, a lot of companies. I love pinball. The tables included in the Gottlieb collection, all of these, I believe, are part of season one of uh, Pinball Arcade. Or is it Arcade Pinball? I don't remember now. I'm babbling. Ace High, that is a really hard table. Central Park, Big Shot, Genie, I love Genie. Black Hole, Black Hole is a really cool table, and I remember playing Black Hole back in the day, and as I recall it, it was an expensive table to play when it first came out. Victory and Tate Off. The thing about pinball machines is they're very expensive to manufacture because all the wires, and there are a lot of wiring 
there's a lot of wiring that goes into a pinball machine. All of that is done by hand. It's not robotic in any way. It's a very time consuming. And just designing a pinball table, like when Stern designs a pinball table, if they take an existing design and just retheme it, that alone is four hundred thousand dollars. But if they uh, design one from the ground up, you're talking about at least a million. And that's not counting the licensing fee they have to pay. Like if it's a Simpsons pinball table or Family Guy, or whatever, they have to pay a license for that, of course. So that is why pinball machines are at least five thousand dollars, some closer to eight or nine thousand. Okay, I think I'll do some Super Famicom games complete in box, don't you know? This is complete, by the way, but the disc is in the GameCube. I just today got another memory card for my GameCube. Alright, Gamba League. Obviously, baseball. Nothing to do with the J League because that is soccer. Okay, this I believe was released in the US, although I don't recall whether it was released for the NES or a different system. But anyway, this is from Tato. Hat Trick Hero. Soccer game. A lot of soccer games for the Japanese systems. Okay, for some reason, I don't have. Super Power League, but I have Super Power League 2. This is baseball. I don't know who they are. Maybe they're designers or something. Super Power League 3, both of these from Hudson Soft. Okay, my autofocus is not cooperating. Super Professional Baseball from Jaleco. Okay. This is from Hudson Soft, and it is a J League game. Super Soccer. Although it is obviously one aimed at children. The J League games that I have played are really good soccer sims. So if you like soccer and you like sims, there you go. Winning Post 2. Okay, 
This was purchased by mistake. I thought it was for the 2600. This game was released for the 2600 and Coleco did publish games for the 2600 but this game was published for the 2600 as I have since found out by CBS Games. It says right on it ColecoVision presents. So yes, it's for the ColecoVision. Gorf. I've removed the stickers from there and there and there. But see, the thing is, Same size. All right, this is um, from Atari. Super Breakout requires the paddle controllers, which I have. I played this one tonight when we got home from Game Over, and it is a lot of fun. Mousetrap. And I think I only paid a dollar for it. Copyright Exidy, but also ColecoVision did the 2600 version, and it was originally released by Coleco for the 2600, and then re-released by Atari. Okay, this is an iMagic game. Really cool game. I love this game. I discovered it playing it through an emulator and uh, so then I had to get an actual copy of it. Laser Gates. Now other publishers in other parts of the world release this game under different titles such as Laser Volley and I believe Inner Space is another title for this game but you'll find that it's quite common with the 2600 the same game released by multiple publishers under different names so if you're a completist good luck okay this one is a fun game and I first started playing it on an emulator from Activision River Raid they also released a River Raid 2. And outside of the US, there was a River Raid 3, which I played on an emulator, but I haven't found an actual copy yet. This is a homebrew. I temporarily misplaced the instruction manual. But this is a really good game. Conquest of Mars. It is a vertical scrolling shooter. And if you choose one of the harder difficulty settings, there are five I think, then you get to play a stage called Laser Gates. Except instead of it being horizontal, which it was in Laser Gates, it's the same basic principle except it's vertical. Okay. For the GameCube, Tetris Worlds.
I don't always mess with trying to get these big stickers off because I'm not always successful at doing it cleanly. Now, they had two copies of this, same price. One was in a PlayStation 2 case, even though it was a GameCube release, with the manual. And then one with a proper GameCube case without the manual. So I moved the manual over to the one that was in the GameCube case. Okay, I'm thinking this might be like uh, Puyo Pop Fever, which is a game I have for the GameCube, and it's a game that I really like. This is Super Bobble Pop, although it might be might be more like Busta Move. I don't know. I haven't played it yet. So Angelico. Complete. For the Genesis. Balls. Actually, it's called Balls 3D. Complete. And for this video, I will end with a game for the 2600 called Squeeze Box. Now, I have a number of issues of Joystick Magazine from back in the day, and they rated this game 1 out of 5 stars. But I like this game. So, you say, well, what do they know? What do I know? U.S. Games Corporation, a subsidiary of the Quaker Oats Company. No box, but it did come with the manual. Everybody loves Frago, right? It's being sarcastic. This is Seahawk, which cheats. Originally published by Panda. But that release is much harder to find than the Frago release. Now, somehow, I managed a high score on this game, which I submitted to highscore.com but it's not easy because as I stated this game cheats now when I got this I bought it on eBay it was sealed I unsealed it obviously okay again from Frago Games Sea Hunt. Now this was also published by Panda and by someone else, Sa Sasha, well, I don't remember. Anyway, the uh, other two companies that published this published it under two different titles. So this game is known under three different titles. If you're a completist, you need all three. Sea Hunt, uh, Skin Diver, and Scuba Diver.
This game cheats even more than Seahawk and is tough. I don't know how I did it, but I managed a thousand points. Okay, I'm going to stop now with this video. I have a lot of ground to cover, but I need to reorganize here. So I'll start this one uploading and I'll record another video. Until next time, stay awesome. I've been purchasing because they're kind of stockpiled back there. And I have about $500 worth that I haven't shown. And while I've been pulling the magazines out and reading them and putting them back in the bags, she wants me to show them so that I can put them away. And I don't blame her for that. Now, I have a smallish box, about that big, and a big box down there, and they're both crammed full of games for several different systems. But I have more games coming. In addition, I have a lot of other things that I need to show in videos. My wife is begging me to show all of the books and magazines that I have. This really is, are the best at doing virtual pinball. This is Pinball Hall of Fame, the Gottlieb Collection. I'm not talking about Crave. I'm talking about the other logo, which is back here, which is uh, Farsight Studios. They're the ones behind Pinball Arcade. Now, if hello YouTubers, this is Sesta Ace back again with another video game ads video. I have a lot of games to show you because I've added a lot of games since I last did one of these videos because it's been quite a while since I did a game ads video. In fact, it's done, been a while since I've done any kind of uh, video. Life happens. I've also added a game console, which I need to show, and I've got another one coming, which I'm going to have to show. All right. I have this for a number of platforms. I have it for the PSP, the PlayStation 2, and I believe I have it for the Xbox. But I love pinball. And people behind this.